Thank you very much for joining us again today. My name is Dakbo Arua Joy. Today we're looking at allegations and counter allegations still at the House of uh, Representatives. Uh, the former chairman of the Appropriation Committee, uh, Honorable Jobrain, is not going down easily. Of recent, you may recall that uh, maybe he was relieved of his appointment or he said he, he resigned, whatever uh, that one means. But uh, at the end of the day, what we are hearing now is that uh, there were allegations that Jubail himself parted the budget uh, to the tune of maybe 250 billion, 250 million, uh, depends. And again, that uh, the, the, now Jubrin is saying, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not alone in this mess. Uh, the, 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 the leadership of the House of uh, uh, Representatives, the only person really uh, amongst the leadership, maybe amongst uh, the people that were not mentioned, is Honorable Bajabi Amila for now. But apparently, I think everybody's name is on that list. So they're saying all of them even shared or uh, wanted to share. Forty billion uh, from it's 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 we're talking about 2016 budget something that is meant for or you and I so we'll be looking at that because even pardon itself it, it, it's a big crime so we'll be talking to this uh, gentleman in the studio and to help us do the discussion I have uh, Mr. Ade Tokumba Mumoni is the executive director Serap and Serap is social economic rights and accountability project thank you very much for joining us and also I have Adiola Shweto <coughs> is the National Coordinator, Democracy Vanguard. is also a human rights activist. Thank you very much for joining us. As a rights activist, let me start with you. Because you heard my intro, I said, we're talking about budget. Something that is meant for you and I and people listening to me at home. But some few, some few that are meant to be representing us, they collect salary from, <laughs> from us, if you get what I mean. We have allegations that they're manipulating this document that is meant to give us hope. The budget was the budget of hope, right? Or mm -hmm. the budget of change. But what, what's your own take? How did you receive this news? Well, honestly, I, I find it difficult to believe that Nigerians are surprised that this thing is, uh, is happening. Because it's a routine fraud in the National Assembly over the years, since 1999. Pardon. Exactly. No budget is passed without pardon. And you ask yourself, why are they pardoned? Because of constituency projects, which was started by ex-president Roche Gobasojo. This is an illegal thing. The constitution exactly. and stuff. Mm. I mean, within the confine of law, there's nowhere it's stated that the National Assembly people, the legislators, who start executing, who start uh, doing roles, building schools, this is purely an executive function. Okay, like since you mentioned it, let me let me say because the allegations that even Jibrin himself allocated uh, 4.1 billion naira to his constituency, uh, Kiru uh, Bebeji in Kano, 4.1 billion naira. Yes, that's what I'm saying. If you read, I think Nash, I mean the Nation about two weeks ago, he did a brilliant exposure on previous constituency projects. Mm. You cannot just steal money; you must create a name for a source through which that money will be stolen. Hmm. And that source is just constituency project. Apart from this, this and that they collect from I mean any other person. And I want to tell you today, from nineteen ninety nine, there is no budget of MDA that is passed without bribery. Without, I have senior friends that are heads of ministry and agencies of federal government. They will tell you, look, you guys they're just in Lagos, shouting at corruption. You cannot. It is when Buhari came in with some dose of integrity that this thing came up. And that was why his budget, the budget, I mean, the 2016 budget, was difficult. Because, I mean, the chamber is like uh, a trading house. So you had the vultures uh, lock, locking it's, around. It's like that. In fact, <laughs> no minister, no minister mm -hmm. then, before now, will be approved without giving huge money. No budget of MDA 
will be approved. That give, and I'll give you an instance. We went at a stage, you know, to, to, to push a bill, a private bill, on feeding, school children feeding, mm -hmm. where we met one of the committee members in agriculture then, I think during the Adwa region. What he told us was scandalous. By the time we left that place, we know well, on a good day, they're supposed to have taken that bill. That look, what's our business? This is a good bill that we don't want feeding of school puppies to be on the website caprices yes. of government. government. Make it a law. Mm -hmm. Like in Brazil, like in India. Mm -hmm. You know, we were thinking that enthusiasm will be, I mean, be met with enthusiasm. But there was a but. Man, <laughs> even to lawyers, this, I'll be frank. Even they tell us, look, this bill, they have to, we have to give their own lawyers that will pay certain amount to both hotel for two weeks. From there, you have to bribe the committee members. Wow. Yes, that we are going to invite one third of the house to hold to hotel, give them a lot of things, lobby them. And again, all this uh, public hearing, it was Canada that they even advised us that we are going to sponsor. Later, we got to know that all this thing was budgeted for. Okay. So, it, it, it's worrisome, really. But let, let me take you to him because it's been quiet there. Uh, a social economic rights and accountability project. You should be bothered. Your organization should be bothered about it because it doesn't seem accountability is in the, is in the dictionary <coughs> of these people. It is not only our organization that should, that should be bothered. All Nigerians must be bothered. You see, the way I look at what has been happening until the emergence of um, uh, President Mamadou Buhari is like it's as if those who represent us, those who rule us, have forgotten that the most important office in Nigeria is the office of the citizen of Nigeria. Mm. Yes. And it is because they've forgotten this. That is why they take us for granted. And it is now the business of all Nigerians to find or form a movement. I mean, this is not an uh, this is not um, an advocacy for for lawlessness. In some climes, once matters of this nature come into the open or the public space the citizens will be galvanized immediately let me let me let me guess because the, maybe we, because of our lukewarm nature why must really? we be lukewarm in that this is this is a this is a, this is a crime that has yeah. been committed right? yes yes and you have people saying you committed somebody and a security outfit should be looking into no, that, that is that that was the statement we issued immediately we got to this because the house said we are referring this to our committee. You no. can investigate yourself. No, you cannot you investigate can't, yourself. You can't do an independent, thorough, and transparent investigation of yourself. As a matter of fact, in, in some countries, as soon as this thing comes into open, yes. the body set up for investigation under the law will immediately take over. Yeah. People should start ask, ask, answering questions. And, 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 all, and all these people, like the speaker, yes. Dogara, the deputy speaker, Yusuf Lasson, the whip, Alassane, Ado Dugura, and even the minority Leo, Leo or Ogo uh, should have stepped down, or, that, and even Jubril himself. That is the way, for example, I, I, I find the motive of Jubril very suspect now. Mm. To me, it's not an altruistic whistleblower. <laughs> yes. Because the, he, he was there. The, the, all this while. All this while. It's almost one year. Yes. Since the budget was passed. Yes. It is now that things got scattered in court. Yes. Among them, that's now telling us. Um, uh, Cock and Boo story. He was a press singer of the present uh, yes. uh, speaker. All, all this yeah, all this speaker. while. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that it is not the house that will refer the matter to EFCC. It is not the business of the house to refer this matter, this particular matter concerns themselves to any committee of the house. It is the work of the anti-corruption agencies to move it immediately. They don't need, you see, by the time they allow time to pass, it will now appear as if somebody is pushing them to go <laughs> in. Yes. Uh, you now turn to which hunting? Which hunting? It, it is only when it concerns them they talk about which hunting. We didn't. We were not privy to how they were padding budget. Mm -hmm. It came out from their mouth. Yes. So the independent bodies charged with the responsibility like the, of this prevention, detection of crime is part of the duty 
of ICPC and EFG under the law setting them up. I'll, they I'll, don't need presidential directive. Directive. Yeah, I'll come back to you. What do you think? Because it's a crime uh, that has been committed or allegedly committed or, or was to be committed. Hey, so uh, the security agents should have moved in immediately. Hey, well, they can't move in as uh, they've been doing before. <laughs> but let me also tell you, hmm? we are treating the effects. We are not likely treating the cause. In the Second Republic, why were we not getting all this terrible fraud coming out from the National Assembly? Maybe everybody was cooperating because you said it's not the first time they were parted. Not only Maybe that, now they had conflict. Not only that. Politics and the politica, political process of power accumulation is the most profitable business industry in Nigeria. Hmm. So when you go there with over 10 to 20 billion to become a governor or a senator because of monetization of political process, we are in, none of us here could aspire to even be a member of House of Rep, not to talk of Senate or governor because of our post. So you now look at it again, we have for, for, for the past 15 or so years now, Nigeria economy has been totally neoliberalized. Mm -hmm. Saying that government has no business with people, no business providing this. No, so yet we're having money. So there was or there is excess money to be looted. The Aulawa regime could not have done all this when they had so much to do. Free education, free health, integrated rural development. They, could, they were looking for them everywhere. Mm, because they had things doing on the table. Exactly. Now we mm. are in the era of neoliberalism. Where you say PPP, government doesn't have any business with anybody, with light, with water, with road, with housing, yet the nation is making money. And that money has to be spent one way or the other. So we have to look at that. What is the political process? That is the source. I cannot, you know, collect forms of 40 million, campaign, bribe this, bribe that, I spent about 20 billion. I don't make any. And I go to that. Senate, mm. making love for you is, mm. is, is, is a deceit. It's not possible. So we have to look back into that process. If we don't, we are just wasting our time. Now, but how long, yes. how long do you think that would take? And that, is, that, yes, that could take a long time. No, it's, it's not. That, that's looking at the Constitution itself, no, right? Yeah, exactly. But again, even looking at ourselves, do we really want democracy? Do we really, are we capable to defend it? Because there's no way now, if you want to mobilize people here, some that will mobilize people from here may still need to go back to one intending corrupt senator or already corrupted senator to, for, 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 I mean, for financing. So now, again, we should start looking at the fundamental alternative, the working class party, people of you and I, people, I mean, the party that who don't look at how rich, I'll give you an instance. In 1979, Barista Kunle Oyero, an average lawyer, defeated MK Wabiola, MK Wabiola's wife, Sibi out mm. in my central district. That is the value. The value. Then, analytics in even, politics. Even though uh, the Abiolas, they, they, they were rich. Rifa is about the richest man in yes, Nigeria. Yes. In my central district. In fact, when I was, I was there at the Yaki Palace. Campaign. When our law presented the man was in a simple Akara bearded. Hmm. And I mean, you can see, because at that time it was not money, 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 money. And today it is. So we are in money business. Let me, let me come back to you. Money. The money business, because <laughs> money. Uh, I did talk about the, the people are the ones suffering, but, but the way he painted it, like, it seems we are the. We are, we are the originators of our problems by ourselves because the people uh, why, why, why are people just to because I used lukewarm like the lukewarm the last time I think is it like a city car now really because mm -hmm. people don't really bother because the, the like he said how can I spend some billions to become a senator and I don't make my money back mm -hmm. if it goes on like that they'll keep on stealing the money yeah. uh, let me let me tell you that um the fundamental way of breaking this long chain of corruption is first of all to break the poverty chain. You see, people who want to exploit you, 
will burden you with poverty so that you will only be thinking of existential matters. Wow. Is it? Uh, so you're, you're morally demented. Don't yes. Right? Mm. Uh, that is the problem. You see, somebody who, as at today, as at this morning, you know it's about 11 now. Mm. Has not eaten. He has not eaten. <laughs> So that, uh, I, I don't think such a person can make any rational But choice. even the ones that have eaten, yes. uh, they're still looking for lunch or dinner. Well, when but, it will come uh, and where uh, it will come uh, from. A, even the elite sometimes, they, is, uh, I, care, I, care, I care less because uh, let me go and look. These people that are just still, let them steal. Let me go and look for what to eat. But that's, that's the problem. The, you see, you see, for the elites saying, let me go and look for, uh, the problem of the elites is not what to, what to eat. Is what to eat again? What they want mm -hmm. to do accumulations. Mm -hmm. Now the problem with those set of people is that they want to live in the midst of budget poverty, oh. and their security will not be guaranteed. Hmm. When you are like the Yorubas will say, a one rich man in the midst of, of uh, um, uh, a a pauperized person is, is also a poor person. So the the, the the bottom line is this chain of poverty has to be broken. When it is broken, then Nigerians will now know how to move. Because imagine when you say, let's go on strike the first day. That's when they are interested. OK, by the time, by the time it's getting to half the second day, you start hearing, ah, uh, uh, we have to find something to eat, too, because but, there is no way But what, what has anything. changed, really? Because it made mention of uh, the, the period of uh, our laws then. Uh, where you had uh, people, the, the, the leaders were thinking of projects to do them because they had a whole lot planned out. Is it because there is no plan, no vision now? No, 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 is no, that no. why people, yeah, for yes. because they all feel they don't need anything, the life is just there. Don't, yeah. Let us continue with uh, our party. Let, 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 let me tell you, most of the politicians of today are no longer publicists. People who cherish names hmm. and who have the interest of the people at heart. That is the difference. You and, see? And, and, and it's a great difference. It, it, it is a indeed. big difference. That is the big difference. You see? Or in those in the in the first republic, mm -hmm. when you say politicians, you mean people that are publicists. Uh, public minded people who really want to do something for their people. To me, if they say you have the opportunity of being a member of the House of Representatives, I believe it is enough privilege and honor for anybody rather than looking for money. You are representing the people. people. When they say you are a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you are, you are about 174 mil, uh, 170 million in Nigeria, and you are among the selected 309, uh, 103 senators. Are you getting me? Mm. So that, to me, is enough privilege and it should be a matter of satisfaction for you. Okay, but... but you are, are resenting on people. But they change this privilege now. Uh, uh, all, all we do is you hear juicy committees, like the appropriation committee, a very big one. They believe when you are there, you're okay. Because you remember when this gentleman was there, Jubrin, gentleman, uh, in quote. When he was there, you remember... He wasn't shouting really when he was there. It was of recent that you start hearing this that uh, uh, why 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 Dogara and Co are now fighting him is because he, he did not allow them to to add forty billion naira into the budget for their own constituency project. You remember Farouk Lawan and Aruna Ite? Oh, yeah. You remember that yeah, period? Yeah. Then? Yes, the, yeah. Farouk Lawan. You remember the popular man, yeah, the short yes. man that was. That, that could hide uh, money in the cap. Yeah, remember <laughs> the, the, <laughs> but you know it was rough, a rough for fight. Are we going to see much of that in this uh, 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 House of Representatives? Uh, well, I, maybe because of my own ideological perspective of interpreting the contradictions and of course the Can politics. I quickly take George and I'll come back to you no so you reserve your thoughts. Uh, George from Ekaja. Good morning, George. Uh, good morning, Dapo. Can you hear me, please? Yes, I can hear you, George. Good morning. Okay, good morning to your panelists as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, therefore, if you recall, there was turbulence. There was a, a massive um, effort by many of these House members to make sure that Femi Bajabi Amila did not emerge as the speaker. Yes, yes. I think we are beginning to see the reason. The reason. Now. Mm. I remember very well, too, 
during the uh, budget uh, padding accusations here and there, eventually the National Assembly passed the budget. And the president insisted that he wants to see the details before he signs it. Like he knew, this, he knew the way they were doing before. Yes. Mm. This same um, Abdubuguni Jibrin came on air, I recall vividly, and said that the president can sign the budget without seeing the details. Okay. That it's been done like that before. He quoted several presidents yes, that have yes, done it in the yes. past. Can you now see? And he's the same person turning around to say, Mr. A or Mr. B is the one that parted. They are all in the game together. <laughs> so nobody should uh, uh, think he's a saint. All right. If then. I were the government, I will put all of them under investigation and make sure that whoever is guilty is punished. No because right, this, this kind of thing cannot continue for, for forever. It should not, and it will it's, not. Thank yeah, you so much, George. I, I'll let you finish your thoughts, sir. Yeah, I'm saying that we have to look at it broadly so that we won't come again and start talking of mm. House of Assembly, talking of Senate and all that thing. It's going to be a huge, just, I mean, of that pathology. Mm. Exactly. Because you look at the processes of coming to power. I mean, how do you listen to them on TV? Have you had any committer statement? Party A or candidate A will invite a Fuji megastar. <laughs> the other one will invite uh, a super <laughs> whatever. So at the end of the day, it's always entertainment, entertainment. In those days, you start seeing politicians I had the privilege in 1979 to attend when I will work in Tabi Okuta mm. for his campaign. Mm. I was just an 18-year-old boy. It was a, a big privilege. Then. You know what happened? Mm. When I was coming back from the ca campaign ground, I was educated, enlightened. I was seeing the mass vision. He was telling us how many classrooms, how many teachers do I expect him before they are free education, how many universities they will be built? And I was talking. So when I was going back, it was like I just finished some a, a very good lecture. Lecture. So <laughs> I slept, I was looking at that Nigeria. But today, when I used to go to campaign ground, what did they hear? Nothing. L music. Music. <laughs> so and it's it's not as, it's not accidental. Because they know what they are going to do there. You don't need to commit anything. Before they talk, this guy, the superstar is there dancing. Comedians are there. The people will come. Exactly. So it's an escape route. So uh, we are going to have the same thing now. If you ask yourself, why, why as of, as of, as of assembly? They are so part. That's the truth. Everybody is just a part. Everybody is a part. Everybody is a part. I have can friends I, that are legislators. Let me a take Hassan from uh, Lekki. Good morning, Hassan. Good morning, Jacko. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Comrade and Barrister uh, Abdul Mumin Good morning. <laughs> and Mr. Soitan, good morning. Hello. Welcome. Uh, would you, let, me, let me start with a quotation by, by an Indian philosopher called Jita. Hmm. He said, and I quote, What will kill us? Politics without principle. What will kill us? Money without work. Hmm. What we are seeing now today is a corruption of the highest order. Corruption in the high places. We are looking at us of representatives. Let us have a dissection of Senate. The same thing is happening there. You see, this issue of party or no party. Apart from taking money from the oversight functions of ministries and parasitics, mm -hmm. these people, because of their greed, they still make sure they have a bite of national budget. Why we are hearing this today is because a man of principle, uncorruptible Nigerian, a patriotic Nigerian like me and you, is in place. Mm. It has been going on. That's from Obama's era. Head of parasitics. It has never been heard of. When a head of parasita will go to National Assembly, instead of him to go to his ministry to defend a budget, 
He will go to the National Assembly, defer a budget, drop money, and get budget for himself. And these people, after even taking their money, after pardoning the budget, taking raw cash, they will follow them off to their parasitas and take all the juicy contracts. And, and the contract that will never be executed. Yeah. That was why the civil servants also took a clue from them. Mm. They will take the budget, come back to their ministry, call, contra call the corrupt co contractors, not only contractors, call the irresponsible and corrupt contractors. Bring your invoice, bring your delivery note, you fill for them, they take the money. And next year, you see a duplication of the same job without shame. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much. As I want, did you see, did you see the, the chain, the picture I painted? Yes. How would the president succeed in this instance now? For real, it's a big question. It's like you said, a, a rich man in the midst of a, a, a poor, 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 uh, poor people is a poor man. What about a, 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 a credible man in the midst of a? How do I put it? In the midst of bad people. No. Let me just put it that. Uh, let, <laughs> let, let, let me just say this. The idea of even constituency projects to be scrapped. There is nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Remember that the difference between the 1979 constitution and the 1999 constitution is very minor. Why were politicians of Second Republic not talking about constituency oh, projects? <laughs> you see, when your your business purely as a legislator is simply lawmaking, mm. not any other thing. When they say execute. Any project, it belongs to the poverty of the executive. And they even still make money from the oversight function also. So why must they make, that is the problem that we have. Why must they make money in the oversight function? For example, they've turned into an instrument of blackmail. You know, it was not on the that introduced consumer projects. Let's just remind ourselves, no. They were the one that started it. They were using, they were to, to use as a blackmail okay. against Obasanjo, saying that we won't sign this budget unless you put in consumer projects. When, when he agreed with them at first, they, they, they approved it. Obama so insisted that he would not execute those projects. That was part of this. They said they wanted to impeach him in 2002. In case you have forgotten. Mm -hmm, I remember. So the man just said, okay, so that things will go on. I agree with you. Look, so when it now I, comes I, to execution, I, he says, I will execute uh, it. Are you saying the overall mess now? Yes. The overall mess that is yes. happening now, generally, yes. we should exempt Obasanjo. Job. No, because, no, it, because he also refused to, uh, to agree with them. Of so he's project. right of recent. He, he's been saying we have crooks in no, the, no, 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 So no. he's right. No, it's correct. Okura, for good morning. You're calling from Abia. Good morning, sir. Good morning, comrade. <laughs> yeah, my name is uh, Comrade Malze Patrick Okura for here in uh, Abia State. You look at Nigeria as a, as a country. Yes. Poverty, killing, diseases, killing, education. Many cannot write their name, many cannot go to school. Mm. If I have my way, I will dissolve the national assembly. You, know, what, you start as a, you are carrying millions, billions. What are you going to do with them? The highest children you need is only one room. The highest uh, bed you need is only one bed. Highest condition you need to hire to short, even if you buy them. Mm. Now, National Assembly, if I have my way too, I would see that National Assembly work should be on part time basis. Because part time basis will help Nigeria. All this issue of going there to grab and go. Look at consistency. There is no consistency in this country, like here in Arutuku. Between Omaha or Hofia Arutuku, you can't pass there. Now, the government are trying to put that place. Now, now look at Nigerian students, look at Nigerian investors. There is no National Assembly that says it doesn't come from a state. He knows the type of university they have in their own state. I know the type of facility they have before. To bring out money and go there, feed only, carry 20 million, and be the hostel for this is a problem. Just to go about this, my, my colonel, uh, 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 um, Jane, or they name mm. them, at least 3 million and keep this good. This is very hard for them. But they just go to assembly, assembly money for their children, children, yet unborn. Now, the question is this Nigeria should think why 2019, before you vote anybody, you should look at that person that. If a man or a woman with integrity, that he will go there and slap the masses or the community, not to go there and reach himself. Or well, wonderful. Thank, thank you, you so much, Comrade. Uh, uh, there's no better place you can leave it. Uh, thank you so much. 2019, go and vote your people that has got integrity. And we need to go on a short break. When we come back, we'll continue. Don't go anywhere.
Uh, welcome back. I still have in the studio Adiola Shweto and also Adeto Kumbo Mumuni. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for being patient. Yeah, thank you. Thank and you. let me come to you because uh, we mentioned the former president of the country, Olusha Gombasanjo, uh, before we went to break. I think we just uh, take it from there. Uh, he, he's, been, he's been persistent about this talk that uh, the law, lawmakers generally, uh, that's the way he put it, uh, are crooks. Uh, do you support that? And do you think he, he should have done something? Like the way you said it, why, why we are discovering that padding is going on now, which has been in existence a long time ago, is because Buari, which is the president now, don't, will not tolerate it. If Olusha Gwamba Sonjo has stood his ground then and did not tolerate, do you think uh, padding would have stopped now? And maybe by then, he wouldn't have been using the name crook for them, maybe something else. You see, if he had insisted, perhaps he could have stopped. Perhaps they could have looked for other way to, to steal. To steal. Be because let me be very frank. With the monetization of political process, an average politician elected hmm, is a potential thief. Hmm. It's a poten that's the fact. And now, why Wari came there now are fighting this uh, consistent looting is because he came with some dose of integrity. But I'm afraid he's likely going to be overwhelmed. Because you have everybody ah, it's vultures. Like, it's just like one hunter that goes to a, a big forest of mm. wild animals. Yes. Maybe one hunter with two dogs. Yes. I mean, and, be, and, and a dengon. Uh, so a dengon. So and you ask yourself too, why is it that none of them has, across parties, has declared their answer publicly? They've refused. Eh, they've refused. Two, why is it that it's only Buhari as president that is shouting that corruption? In the state, none. In the National Assembly, none. In the ministry, none. In the local government, nobody said anything. They just look at the man. When he was the head of state, I remember then that even in ministry, in local government, in school, secondary schools, people were talking about corruption. Even on the streets. Yes, but today. <laughs> people kill. Even they do his, all his, colleagues, his colleagues, politicians will just be looking at him with this corruption. You'll be overwhelmed. So that is why. We is facing a danger, except the mass of Nigerian people help. Yes, and and a movement is created. Okay, I have a call from Joss. Uh, exactly. Ah, I lost it. Uh, sorry I about that. Try and call back, please. You, you take it from there, because <coughs> you, you say a movement. Yes. So that the people should take it, not even the president. Not the, you see, they, they are, are principalities and yes, powers. Yes, we mm -hmm. have to own this process as citizens. You see, when you say Buhari talks about anti-corruption and other, other public office holders are not in sync with him, they are not. then we, the affected people, must be ready to assist the man by changing in our orientation, by changing our disposition, and the way we also conduct our private businesses. You see... I, do, I don't want to lose the call again <laughs> for anything. Nakhoride is back. Good morning, Nakhoride. Sorry uh, about the last time. Uh, Mr. Dapo, God bless you. Amen. Yeah, I saw Kuyori. I hope he's well with him. Yeah, all is well with him. He's somewhere in the oh, studio. Okay, thank you for the panel there. Thank you. What I just want to say is that PDP is the problem of this country. I'm not a politician. Well, PDP, Dogara, Jibrin, and everybody's yeah, yeah, yeah. not for the PDP. Yeah, We're talking the about problem. pardon. Well, the party is party, that's what I'm saying. It's party, it's their way of life. Let me tell you the bitter truth. I'm not APC, I'm not any other political party. Mm -hmm. But see them, the people look at Dogara, is PDP. Look at Saraki, it's PDP. <laughs> <laughs> they are PDP, they are PDP. If the change you voted for, we are not enjoying the change. Dogara is These people PC. are corrupt. Yeah, People Baba that is so that insulting them. Is it not the same Baba that gave them money for the top time? Is it not the same Baba? Uh, yeah, I, I think I So remember. that's what we are saying. Please, what uh, Buhari should do, because Buhari is not corrupt. Buhari is not looking for money. That's why Buhari was able to deal with these people. If they say Buhari want to have mansion all over, if, they will continue partying with him. We will not but know. Akure, they, he, 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 if, if Buhari is not he corrupt is, and is in the midst of all these people, <laughs> would he be overwhelmed? Would he be more long life? 
And when he's handing over, he's hand over to uncorruptible Nigeria again. Okay. And God will bless this nation. Thank you so much, Your other colleague said one thing. He said, when you go drink Chief of Abema, oh, no, what? In 1979, I was a little boy also. I, I was in Denkwara State. There's a village they call Iyara. Chief of Abema, oh, no, what came there. And he was talking about education. As a small boy, I was looking at him. With a short maker, I was looking at this man. What is he talking about? He was talking about education. He was talking about free health. But now if you want to see them, now they will go and bring all sorts of musicians to come and be playing jamboree <laughs> and do all sorts of nonsense. And when these people go there now, they will, uh, they will be expecting return on their yes. investment. He's saying the same thing he said. Thank you so much, Akoridi. Thank you so much. We need to leave a space for some others to call him also. And I did, uh, he's, he's echoing what he said, really. All they do now is just bring people yeah. to come and play music. Nothing tangible yeah. for the people to listen to. Okay, uh, I'll get to you, Mumuni. So let me just say, the, the, this last speaker said, the president should hand over power to so, somebody that is credible. credible. It is not the president that will hand over power no. to somebody that is credible. No. It is Nigerians that will, choose. Yes. that will choose somebody that is credible. Now, how will we be able to choose somebody that is credible? I say the way to it is that the federal government should let the masses of Nigeria feel the impact of government so that they, should, they don't continue to battle with essential matters. Yeah. So when people have the enabling environment to live legitimately, then they will be focused and analyze issues and elect credible people. You carry them along. Yes. Let me take Taufik from Oshogbo. Good morning, Taufik. Good morning, Mr. Dapo. Good morning, sir. Good morning to the two gentlemen in the studio. You see, Mr. Dapo, I think, uh, thank God, one of the guests in the studio, the civil society member. Mm. I think one thing we should do, please, during the primaries of the political parties, we need to make emphasis that every political party must ensure they undergo the primaries. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mention names, but so many of them in the house today, even from our own side here, None of them consider the primary. The governors just impose yeah. them on us. And even today, they are regretting. They are regretting what they did. Because then we are saying that we don't want these people. We want primary take place. So that we want people of integrity that wanted to get there. And they refuse. Let's start from there because that is the first step. Then secondly, the issue of this party, somebody says the PDP. Of course, it's right. The government is from PDP before the country ATC. It's in their blood. So they must manifest what they have. It's but the guy is of the APC. It's not APC for now, but they initially was for it now. It can't be APC. <laughs> okay. So please and please, uh, the issue I want us to understand is that we, comrades and the, and the civil society, this is the right time we need to act because oh. Buhari is alone. People have been saying this the day. Buhari is alone. He's the only one fighting it. But we have the comrades and the civil society if really want to decide to ourselves. Right. This is what we should fight on. <sighs> Thank because you so much, Alfred. Thank, Thank, Thank you so much. Because uh, people are clamoring. The people should. Right about now, if it's in another country, right exactly. about now, you would have found people at the front occupying the, the House of the Representatives. Yes. But why? Why? If, I don't know. Are, are, no. are we leaving everything to the hands of uh, the, uh, the Lord? Well, it's not only <laughs> <in> National <laughs> Assembly eh, that people seem should to be say. tired. Mm. People are weary. No electricity, people are not on the street. The roads are bad. People but are not but on the, the conditions were almost like this when yeah. people are took to the streets. You remember Occupy Lagos? Yeah, it's, Overwhelmingly, it's, people took. Got, uh, but, but is it. Uh, uh, as, have things changed really? Because it, it has, you, you, cannot, you cannot hear that uh, 150, is it billion or million? Somebody just an individu individual, uh, uh, some people like four or five of them, uh, according to Jubrid, just the speaker, the deputy speaker, the whip, and the what's it called, the minority leader, uh, Leo Go, all of them, just this few wanted to share 40 billion naira. And people are saying there, there's no light. You know how many megawatts of light uh, electricity 40 billion naira can give us? Yeah, I'm saying something. What is that system that allow people to, to have access to such billions? That's the truth. What is that system that makes money so much available that people can just have access to it and still? The politics. Exactly. So, and again, you look at the way, because we must be very fundamental. 
I've talked of neoliberal approach to development, which is a crime against, even against the citizens. Privatization, uh, structural adjustment program, devaluation, hmm. commercialization of I mean, social services. So in that wise, you have concentrated the economy of the nation in few hours. OK, can I quickly take Shagun? Okay. Shagun is calling from Lekki. Good morning. He died, lose so, that again. Sorry about that, Shagun. Just recently, it was revealed that just 2% of Nigerians have 90% bank deposit. <laughs> so poverty is there. Like 10% are sharing the money meant for 90, uh, um, 100% you, of Mark the population. You, part of this 90%, this, I mean, is from 500,000 and above. Yeah. So what that means, the 10%, it's not even having like 500,000. And these are likely going to be the electorate. Yes. And so they see politics, politicians, politics on the basis of cash and carry. Except there is a <laughs> revolution of thought and mind. Exactly. It's just a question of where, well, if, if you conduct party primaries, there's no way a millionaire aspirant can defeat a billionaire aspirant. So you're saying the people are so morally demented now, they don't even. They, they, they are so gullible. Not really. It's leadership. I'll give you an instance. Leadership of the working class over the years will always frustrate the effort. Even of the frustrate their own effort too. Because even white people on the street, it's not, if Nigerians are not ready for revolution, why is it that if you under our Shiomole as NSC chairperson, seven national strikes and people obeyed? And the, those ones don't really work. Obey. Sometimes people still suffer. These are these are artisans. I battled seven national strikes. Okay, can I quickly take a Reverend Dominic from Alimosho? Good morning, Reverend. Good morning, Dapo. Morning, sir. I, uh, you kept me some, some minutes. So sorry, Reverend. So sorry. Dapo, our what we are discussing is sad, but it's not new. But we are dropping a gun here. How many of us are still challenging the state budget, which is close to us? Why do we look at Abuja? Let me give you an example of my state, Timo State. Mm -hmm. I have not seen the foolishness of that much to use the word as governor. In my state, I went to set assembly for a particular thing. When I went there for the first day, the second day, I couldn't see them. So I asked a clerk in the office, say, where is people? He said, they don't come here. They come here at the end of the year, a month, to share money when the, the, the money is ready, and they will go home. They come back the next month. This is a state assembly. We are Governor supposed to touch people. And it's here, it's, it's all over like that in, in Nigeria. Mm. Maybe Lagos is, you know, different kind of press here. But every state assembly in Nigeria go to sleep and come back on month ending mm. to pick up their money. What kind <coughs> of corruption? Are you calling mm. party? Nothing is happening here. What you are doing here is like a center talk. Who had me shout and scream, but the corruption is in the state, in the local government. What's supposed to touch you and me? Where I live here? I have my water, I built my road, I put security as an individual. What kind of a nation is that? No look, look at where I am, I, I hope be a middle class. I give people water here to, water here to beg, not to drink. The water I have here cannot be drinkable, and therefore I will pay water. But to, to beg, I have to give it to people as an individual. While I have a governor, I have a local government council, I have a councillor, but no rest to be found. The corruption is too big. We need a revolution. I don't know how it look like. Thank you. Thank you so much, Reverend Domi. He said that they go and come back to share money every month. And even this recess there, we don't even know how much these guys collect, really. We guess. We guess how much they collect. Uh, like, uh, I think the senators collect, like, almost the least they collect is $2 million per month. They collect hardship allowance. That's 50% uh, uh, of $2 million. That's $1 million. You add all the millions together, you know where you arrive to. And at the end of it, they, they go on recess for a long time. Do you know the House of Representatives are coming back <coughs> September 13th? Let me tell you. The way the Constitution has structured the legislative as arm of government, government. is supposed to be a part-time thing. Yes. Because the Constitution says out of 365 days, you are only entitled mandatory 181 days. That's to tell you the mindset of those who drafted the constitution. Mm. And that is why we say it must be a part-time thing. Yes. And so that, we, do we need both uh, chambers? That, that, that's another question. That's another question because... Well, well, I'll put the question, do we need both I don't chambers? think so. I don't think so. In the First Republic, it was only at the federal level, the House of Parliament. So they should be federal. 
they should be one chamber and part time. Part -time. They should be. Yes. I have a call, please. Uh, good, good morning. Yeah, Yakub this is, from Dr. Yeah, Mo. Good, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Therefore. Yeah, good morning to the two wise men in the studio. Therefore, yeah. yes. I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised. The reason is this. This has been happening since 1999. Everybody is aware of that. But it is only hopeful to us now because we have the integrity present in the end of this country now. Yeah. In the presence of uh, President, uh, President Mohamed Dubai, you know that was a time when this budget come out. The president said that he cannot sign the budget. What are we saying? Other citizens of this country say that after waiting six months, and you want to wait another how many months for you not to sign. You know what he's talking about that time. Because you know there's some of the uh, uh, violence uh, other have already put in the budget. That's why the man said, we will not sign the budget. But Nigeria citizens, we are shouting them that uh, you want to wait another six months? Uh, when are we, if you, you, you take um, uh, 20 years to put that one are you going to take up? Oh. But we are not known, it's not known to, to, to us, but it's known to, to him as a person mm. and, the, and the cabinet. But let me say this, why are we not see this? That for a station whereby during the campaign period, mm -hmm. this legislation will come to your area beginning to promise you what it is not in the hands, telling you that it will give growth, <laughs> it will give you free education. What is the essence of a legislation? It's to go there and make a good yeah, yeah, make law for the Nigerian citizen. Are you coming here and telling us what to give us water? Who sent you that? What to provide road? Who, 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 who tell you that to give us road? It is not your legislation to produce all those things. And then when they get there, they will tell you that the constituency in allowance. Have you ever seen any constituency project in your yeah, area? No, 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 None of no, anything no. that has going on in our area here. And then what Nigerian citizen should do is this. We are too docile. Therefore, we are too docile. Yes. We are too docile in the sense that we are told that we don't have money. We don't have food. Okay, if we I'm don't have money, house. we don't have food. <laughs> I and then child. we don't want to protest. <laughs> yes. When are we going to have that money? When five people are first corner, 40 billion naira, therefore, mm. we are going to, we, we need to open our eyes. Thank God bless you. Thank you so much. And let me ask you the same question. That's a whole lot coming from uh, uh, Yakub there. A whole lot. People are dosa. I've asked that question before. But let's ask uh, the same question I asked uh, uh, Adesokobo. Do you think we really need the two or chambers? And again, uh, even if we have one or we have two, should they run on part time? Because how can someone be going for research for, 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 for months and they collect their big money, even they collect research allowance? I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you ask me, so sad. <laughs> it should be a part time anyway. Yes. And I do also feel we need two houses. It's either we have to weigh the, the corruption scale. Mm. If the Senate is not corrupt, let Senate go. If which one is which one is not corrupt? No, what Can I'm I... saying is, if you want to decide which one goes, yeah. you know we cannot wait for divine intervention. Yeah. We have to we have to look at uh, which is more corrupt. So which one do you think should stay? Which one is more corrupt? Uh, you, why, I will not say you know oh, which, Sorry, which one is less corrupt? No, okay, okay, good. You know why? Mm. Because there's a thin line. You know the house, the two houses are together. Okay, when when they want to, and so one become share. one okay. is house of rep. Today is Senate. Yes, Senate. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, One is a government. Next is so. Oh, okay. Maybe yes. we we'll need to look at. They are interwoven. Or they give us the ambassadors, the most corrupt ambassadors. <laughs> they will now look at which is corrupt. I will they, now. They are will now okay, this, Honestly, well, I would have preferred as of rep to stay because it's a bit closer. Closer to the people. Yeah, exactly. But the number is too much. It's too much. Even for this. I mean, this level. Then I ask myself. Why is it that over the year, even we've forgotten the Wabara issue, mm, and uh, that yeah. uh, minister, yes. is this, yeah. yeah, is it how to run your ministry? And yeah, let me tell you the start. Before you, this, I'm telling you this. You know, I have a friend who I just retired. He's a senior. He's head of an agency. I went to visit him. I said, look, no agency will even come before any committee to defend project without giving bribe. This a, a new agency. I had to give during the uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, era 15 million. He said, Look, where did he go? They said, ah, We are a new agency. This is even our first budget. Hmm. They said, Okay, all this you have highlighted there to do. Don't you have contractors in mind? Go there and let them raise money for you, or else we clear it up. 
that if you have done well, you don't have the padded that time. You have 25 cars in your agency, and you say 1, 1 million, 25 million to run the car. They say, okay, hi, you want to embarrass the government? 25 million? No, 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 it should be 50 million. They put it there. Meanwhile, when they pass that budget, you are still going to be attached to that 25 million. <laughs> you return. That's the truth. That's you return. So they've been padding. For a long time. Yes. Okay. That any anybody that doesn't want, if you, you cannot even appear before o any Hopefully, COVID. this will be the last time oh. they pass. Hopefully. <laughs> Ibrahim is calling for Papa Jao. Uh, good morning, good Ibrahim. Good, good morning. Last caller, yes. Good morning. Good morning. You see, my own contribution is that uh, this legislative of the thing is too expensive. And I think this is the best time for us to cut it off. Okay. You can see what happened in maybe one of the foreign countries. I think they, they said that one of their legislation something is too expensive. So let's cut it off. These people are just embezzling our money. In my own constituency, this is Mushin constituency. They have not benefited anything since <laughs> I started my primary school right from <laughs> 1990. Up to this so moment, it's the same, it's the same thing. Bible, uh, for, uh, since when you were in the project. primary school? Hello? I said it's the same thing since when you were in the primary school. Fact, the, best, the best is just to, to cut it off. All right, then. Thank you. Remember what uh, Sanusi said, Governor Sanusi, when yes. he said that one fourth of the, well, the budget is meant for this, uh, was meant for this uh, legislative committee. Let's cut it off. All right, then. Thank you so much, Ibrahim. Uh, we have some seconds to go now. Uh, gentlemen, you know there was, there, there was a clamor for immunity for principal officers, even <coughs> at all assemblies, Senate, uh, uh, House of Representatives, even the State oh, Assembly. With the way things are now, can I ask you a very objective question? Do you think the principal officers of these assemblies should have immunity? They shouldn't. They shouldn't. As a matter of fact, whether... We are now hearing that they are fraudulent people or not. Or not. The <coughs> philosophical basis for immunity does not apply to the legislature. Legislature. Okay, thank you so much. How about you? Do you support immunity, that? Immunity is everywhere. So we are only being for honest street hmm. uh, National people, the root transport worker, they will fight, kill. Nobody takes them to court. <laughs> uh, somebody will steal money. Nobody takes them. So immunity so is immunity there. So immunity is there. Right? Right? So <laughs> I, I don't have... I don't, <laughs> I don't bother. I don't bother my head. Even the pad already. Anybody they have immunity. Can, yeah, yeah, I too. I've, I've been looking for one immunity. I will enjoy. Everybody enjoy immunity already. So, <laughs> Thank you so much. I do a I give you the immunity to give you. Know, give, Thank I, you, I, I, National I Coordinator for Democracy, <laughs> Vanguard, Human Rights Activist. Also, <laughs> Thank you so much. And I did talk about Mumoni, Executive Director, Social, Economic Rights and Accountability Project. Sarah, it's thank you so much, gentlemen. It's, it's been wonderful hanging out with you today. And that's our package for today. We want to thank uh, those that have called and those that did not even get through. Thank you too much. Just thank you so much. We'll see you around tomorrow. Dakbo Arua Joy is my name. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria.